Hello chess friends, this game is about AlphaZero vs Stockfish 15 match, where AlphaZero played King's Indian defense, f4 against me. Watch the video and learn how you can play like AlphaZero and how to prevent King's Indian setup as black. And this is your today's puzzle, very easy puzzle, you have only 1 minute time to solve it, solve the puzzle and comment me the full answer. Here we go, Alpha starts with e4. e5. Alpha played f4, ok let me analysis the move. If you take the pawn, then just play normal move like knight f3, preventing the queen's entry line. If knight f6, then push the pawn. Develop your bishop, control the center by playing d4 or d3, depending on the variation. Castle, you will get a open file for the rook. Bishop here, and it is the plan of king's Indian setup. But I chose to play queen h4 check first instead of it e takes f4, because this move is not bad. So, g3. Queen back to e7. Knight c3. You can take the pawn, it's not g takes f4, because the queen will arrive and take back the pawn, and the biggest thing is your king will lose his castling, your king will block the development of other pieces. If e takes f4, then d4. Let me show the variation otherwise you will not understand my arrow lines. e takes f4. d4. Sacrificing a another pawn, bishop here, sacrificing three pawns in the opening. Knight here, the strategy of white is, rook will take the pawn, after queen e2, knight here, targeting the queen and pawn. Black pieces are undeveloped. The strength of any country is its youth. If a country have many unemployed man, then the country will be very poor. Like these black pieces of mine. White have very active bishops, bishop here, seizing these squares, and the center pawns controlling center squares very well. Sacrificing two pawns to get more activity of your pieces, it's not bad at all. So, I played d6. Bishop c4. c6. f takes e5. d takes e5. d3. You can play a6, bishop e6 or knight f6. I choose to play knight f6. Knight f3. Bishop g4 h3. I played bishop e6, you could not play bishop d7 because pf this, white will pressuring the pawn. That's why bishop e6. Knight takes e5. You cannot take the bishop because of this. So, I played queen c7, targeting the knight. Bishop f4. Bishop d6. d4. Bishop takes c4. Knight takes c4. Bishop takes f4. G takes f4. Queen takes f4. Rook f1. Queen g3 check. Rook f2. You shouldn't take the pawn. Knight d6 check, the king will lose castling, king d7 or king e7. White will threat these pawns. Queen e2, long castle. After playing e5, building a strong structure for the knight. So, I castled first. e5. Knight e5. Queen g4. Queen takes g4. H takes g4. f6. You can't push your pawn. Rook e8, rook e2. Then knight f4 and you will lose your one central pawn and game will be over. So, alpha played e takes f6. Rook e check. Rook e2. Rook takes e2 check. King takes e2. Knight takes f6. g5. Knight fd7. Knight d6. Knight a6. You shouldn't take the pawn because you will lose your b-pawn, rook will enter second rank. So, alpha played king d2. Knight c7. My strategy is just push the pawns. There is 2 versus 1 in king's side. 
96, targeting these pawns. So, 94. 96. C3. C5. D5. Knight F4. Knight takes B7. Rook B8. Knight E D6. Knight takes D5. Re1. Alpha wants to push his pawns, making a knight structure. And Alpha is threatening to play rook e7, try to seize the 7 rank. So, I played h5. Chess friends, if you still watching the video, it means you love the video, you are awesome, so like and subscribe the channel to get more interesting content from us. G takes h6. G takes h6. King d3. a6. c4. Knight before check. King d2. Knight c6. b3. King h7. King e3. a5. King e4. Rook g8. King d5. Knight before check. King e6. Knight b8. Knight e4. Rook g6 check. King f5. Knight 8 c6. Rook d1. Knight e7 check. King f4. Knight takes a2. Rook a1. Knight before. Rook takes a5. h5. Knight b takes c5. Rook g4 check. King f3. An important thing, white have two knights, so you should maintain distance of king and rook, similarly white should maintain the distance of king and rook. So, the knights can't fork the king and rook. Always remember, at the end game you should always maintain distance of the king and rook. Knight e c6. Rook a8. King g7. Knight e6 check. King f7. Knight 6 g5 check. King g7. King e3. Knight c2 check. King d3. Knight 2 before check. King c3. h4. Knight e6 check. King f7. Knight d8 check. Knight takes d8. Rook takes d8. Knight c6. Rook d7 check. Knight e7. Rook d4. King e6. Rook d6 check. King e5. Rook d7. King e6. Knight c5 check. King f7. Rook d1. Knight c6. Rook h1. Rook g3 check. King b2. h3. King a3. Knight d4. King a4. Rook c3. Knight e4. Rook takes b3. Knight g5 check. King f6. Rook takes h3. Rook takes h3. It's a draw because knight will take the rook, and the c-pawn can't become queen, knight and king can easily stop it. And wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye, take care. See you in my next video.